as we look at the policy development process in Farm Bureau, it's a lot like raising a crop. Whether you're raising livestock or planting a crop, there's definite seasons or time periods you go through. Farm Bureau policy is exactly like that. When we start with the spring, that's kind of the beginnings, the beginnings of a crop or beginnings of, of the animals. That's our policy development. It's, it's, you have an idea as a County Farm Bureau member, take that idea to your policy development meeting. That gets put into a resolution form at your annual meetings. It is adopted by the majority of your members. If it's a county policy, it stays right there. It becomes your policy. If it's a state recommendation, that goes to the resolutions committee. The resolutions committee puts together all the policies submitted from the 78 county and regional farm bureaus into a report that goes to the delegates. We have our delegates from all of our counties sit down, debate our policy on state issues and national issues. Those state issues then become our policy. Those national issues become recommendations to the American Farm Bureau. Those go to the American Farm Bureau Resolutions Committee consisting of the 51 state presidents. Um, we put those together, compile all of those together and then that goes to the delegate body at the American Farm Bureau Board of Directors where we've got nearly 400 delegates from all 50 states in Puerto Rico. It's a longer process, just like it is in the spring, summer, and fall, but it's a process that works very well. As they mature, just like our crops mature, and we're harvested, really the harvest is that American Farm Bureau annual meeting. But just like in farming, we don't sit still all winter. There's things we need to do. That's really the policy implementation, where Farm Bureau members at the local, the state, and the national level work to implement those policies that were adopted by our delegates.